Hello everyone and welcome to the Juice and Sausage Leftover, a show that is named as such because I couldn't find the word leftover in my magnetic poetry kit. Fuck! You gotta work with what you got. And that's kind of the theme of this show. It's Monday night, I'm hungry, and I want ramen. I don't know how to make ramen, but damn it, I'm gonna try. So the first thing you wanna do is clean up any garbage or recycling bags you might have lying around, um, just to prevent your girlfriend from getting upset with you later on when you post the video. Then clean your colander and your weird red bowl, cause you won't be needing those. Now we wanna start pulling together the ingredients. Luckily I had some dried noodles kicking around from the last time I went shopping while drunk. Uh, we need some eggs, and of course you need a pork. Now I didn't have any braised pork loin on me, so <laughs> bacon. Uh, you need some sort of oil, and I uh, got pulled together some garlic, I don't know, ginger? Sure. This one was really a big score. For some reason we had giant sheets of seaweed, so that's a thing. Now I did literally no research on this, but I figured that every time you order ramen, they tend to have some sort of pork bone or something in it. Bacon is pork, so let's go ahead and boil it. So I took two cups of water and I dropped some bacon strips in there and uh, just brought it up to a boil. And then I added some of the seasoning from the Mr. Noodles package that I had, just to, you know, really infuse some of that. Next, you wanna bring eight cups of water uh, to a boil, and this will serve as the broth for your ramen. Next up, we want to cut three cloves of garlic, because you really can't go wrong with garlic. Add a bit of ginger in there for good measure, and bring that into your boiling water and just let it steep. Add in the remaining soup stock you had from uh, both of your noodle bowls. And now let's check on that bacon. If you've been curious about this, I was too, so I decided to take it off the heat and just fry the damn thing. Now, I made sure to use sesame oil for an Asian touch. Now, that was super racist, so let's just throw the bacon straight on the frying pan. After a couple minutes overheat, I cut it up, and I quickly realized that I had just basically boiled all the fat off, so we're gonna call this diet ramen. So go ahead and add your diet pork into your simmering monstrosity and toss in those dry noodles you had. Let it sit for about five minutes and this is where I think the dish really comes together. We're gonna go ahead and poach an egg directly into the broth. <clears throat> so there you have it, diet ramen made entirely from leftovers found at home. Garnish with a stale seaweed square, uh, give it a kiss for good measure and do not get your hopes up. Hey, it's not too bad. <laughs> it was a lot of work. I'm gonna try this egg though. I think the egg is gonna be where it's at. Oh yeah, yoki, yoki. <laughs> Yo, that poached egg is fucking <laughs> incredible. I'm not really selling it here. What would sort of food do? Got this beautiful, beautiful consistency on the noodles. Perfectly cooked poached egg. Just let us try that in that broth. Rich, salty, beautifully seasoned broth. And that meat, oh my God, absolutely falling off the bone. Mm. Is that better? Or do you like this? That's okay. It was a lot of work. It's okay. It was a lot of work. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. Incredible broth. Which smells amazing. So much flavor's come out of those pork bones. Anyway, that was not worth it at all. Really, I thought it was gonna be much, much better. But thank you so much for watching. I don't think I'll do this series again. Maybe another one, maybe one more time. Don't try, don't, don't try this at home. Not because it's dangerous. It's just advice. Yeah, I can't stop eating it. <laughs>